Hi everyone and welcome to my first lecture from my design uh, series and um, today we will analyze probably one of the most interesting and emotional topics in interior design at trends and uh, this topic can be emotional because someone agrees with the trends and uh, someone vehemently denies them However, with regards uh, to trends in any kind of art, it's good when art evokes emotions and bad when indifferent. So someone uh, probably is already familiar with me on social networks, someone from previous lectures and someone probably sees me for the first time. So first I will tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, so my name is Katarina Kolenko and uh, I produce interior design for 10 years already uh, and during this time I implemented projects in Ukraine, the USA, uh, Italy, England and other countries. Also I was published more than 60 times in uh, different magazines uh, about design and fashion. As well, and now I have my team and a few years ago I opened my studio 725 Design. Recently I have also become the youngest accredited designer of British Design Association SBID and um, I was giving lectures at Milan Design Week, uh, I gave interviews about trends on television, was remember on design awards and um, in general I try not to linger on what had already been achieved. Uh, so for several years now I've been living in two cities, Milan and Kiev and uh, um, I've involved uh, in both residential and commercial projects and uh, I also teach interior design. Um, since uh, the war came to my country and forced me to completely change my life, I moved from Ukraine and uh, I decided to focus uh, my energy on lectures now. Um, as projects in Ukraine were temporarily suspended due to the war. So that's why I'm here today and um, I hope this lecture will be useful for you and uh, you will enjoy this uh, hour of your time. So Today we will speak about trends in interior design and uh, this topic is probably the most uh, popular among my requests uh, but nowhere else uh, I delved into the topic as much as today we will analyze it together. So uh, let's get started. Uh, today we are waiting for a lot of information and of course a lot of beautiful things. So. Okay, let's start from the question, what is trend and why we need them? So if you have any ideas of questions uh, which I'm questioning you during this uh, lecture, please uh, message me, call me at night, please to my phone and uh, write me in the comments uh, if you want. If you don't want, don't do that. So. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, looking at how the world has changed over the two previous years, it was impossible not to notice how the general habits of human life and uh, of course its interior have adapted to it. So um, it is the trend that uh, depicts the movement of culture and its temporal features. So uh, we can see trends uh, literally everywhere and uh, they now cover advertising, they cover fashion, they cover food, sports and uh, of course design as an interior design and architecture are not left out here. So, um, Uh, surely we can say that a trend is a direction in the development of an area that sets the tone of this area. So trends are basically everywhere. That's what we need to know. 
And um, by the way, the knowledge of trends greatly raised the professionalism uh, of the person from any field. So uh, as uh, people say, knowledge is a power. And uh, as for trends, uh, this is also relevant uh, because by studying certain trends, you can easily recognize them in the interiors of your colleagues. You can use them in your projects uh, and uh, you can even avoid them. And um, I will tell you a little bit later how to do it cunningly. And uh, for now, I just want to say that trends uh, will not only allow you to have stylish or hype projects, but also reach a significantly different level of customers. And uh, often uh, mm, fresh, stylish, trendy things uh, are liked by people with a good taste and broad views. So, uh, who are ready to experiment and to invest in these experiments, uh, they usually like trends. Now, for example, I want to show you the three probably boldest, I don't know, the recently boldest, three recognizable examples which I choose. So first is my eternal favorite example, which we will mention more than once today for sure, because uh, this is a real, real trend, and this is Sofa Chameleon Da. So uh, in the 70s, uh, the Italian designer Mario Bellini created a sofa for brand BNB Italia, which was CNB Italia at that time, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, and uh, in 2020, this sofa was re-released in the new upholstery and the new materials. Uh, so after that, this sofa has become a real information location for everyone who is uh, exposed to a beautiful trend of things and even with the great Italian history. So um, when this sofa arrived uh, on our pages uh, and of course all trendsetters quickly picked up their cameras and began to grow uh, the popularity and the recognition of the sofa with the help of the simplest and most understandable way of our time to introduce trends. This is social media. And um, I want to ask you, uh, what do you think uh, if this sofa has been on the Instagram of every self-respecting influencer and uh, has become a great addition to their interior, then uh, how much uh, can such a sofa cost? Just uh, guess the price. If you know it, it's great. Um, so. Of course, this sofa, the cost of this sofa depends on the configuration and upholstery, but on average, such a sofa can be purchased for 30,000 euros. Yeah, so this is the good reason to know the trends because uh, by that you can just grow the budget of your projects and uh, the budget of your clients uh, who wants to have something more original and uh, more trendy. So uh, the second trend what I want to share with you is um, this beautiful Ultra Fragola mirror by Paul Tronova. So it was designed by great Italian designer Ettore Sozzas. I love this item so much. Um, and uh, last year in my article for Cosmopolitan, I added this mirror to my must have list for Instagram interiors for a good reason. Uh, this mirror is also a very bright trend of recent times. And uh, the most interesting thing is that uh, uh, it has been also produced since the 70s and uh, if you see the uh, similarity here that uh, both items from 70s uh, from Italy. So it was a really a trend bombing time in Italy and uh, a lot of things uh, from there now still uh, coming back. 
So uh, let's think now how much this uh, ultra fragola can cost to have it uh, in the interior of your client or to buy it by yourself. Uh, so to put this uh, mirror to your client's uh, apartment, for example, your client should pay for it 10 something euros. And the last example will be a super beautiful chair by American designer Jan Fulton. So you see the shape of the chair and uh, these shades and shapes are something beautiful and stylish and uh, we can easily recognize that uh, this is real trend with these forms and the fabrics and uh, also the upholstery of this chair can be both in uh, ordinary fabric and uh, also it can be in the wool of a uh, real alpaca so uh, what do you think how much the alpaca chair can cost from american young designer this is not a classic item it's a uh, new uh, design of um, i think uh, this designer is from california i don't know maybe i'm just influenced by these pictures so um yeah this chair will cost uh, 10,500 euros uh, for the alpaca upholstery of course, uh, in addition to the obvious brightest and the pop trends, we as a designer uh, should tell the client about today's trend because, for example, they can still remain in those uh, that are, that we already put on the trash bin and call them anti-trends. And uh, by the way, today I will tell you also about them um and uh, it's gonna be a huge part of this lecture yeah so in general there are a lot of advantages of studying trends and of course uh, it is very important to keep abreast of the times and follow them as they can be delayed or they can quickly become outdated so now let's take a look how trends uh, change and why they change and uh, how they appear and uh, what is this uh, chain and why snake is here. <laughs>